That's good. That's right! Leave it to me!
how this will go.
my, my. Not bad. Burrows. This is the Ginza terminal. What do you want to do, Master? Activating transport mode.
you.
Hello there. I don't understand anymore. What's the point in living? Huh? Oh, hello. Yeah, sorry, but I'm not baking bread anymore. And you can't run a bakery if the baker doesn't bake. I've decided that I need to find knowledge. You see, academics is nothing but vanity, an effort by humans to make themselves less human, or so I hear. I want to, to, to learn more. I want to know everything I've been missing out on. So if learning things makes me less human, then it doesn't matter if I become a demon. <laughs> Only a demon can grant a human's greedy desire for knowledge. Those who seek to learn shall become nourishment for me, and in turn have their wishes granted.
Samara! I just wanted to know what the luxurers are hiding from us! <laughs> Someone help me! you. Good work. I'm glad we were able to execute that man before anyone else was affected. Is it just me, or have there been a lot of cases like this recently? I hope it isn't some kind of ill omen. Welcome, Prentice. I've checked, but there don't seem to be any new quests. Is there anything else? Hello there. Is there anything else? Come again! Oh? Welcome, Prentice. Hello there. I have indeed accepted it. Is there anything else? Come again.
Come on! This is the head temple of the Ring of Gaia. You here to join the Ring too? <laughs> there have been so many of you lately, it's been a headache keeping track of you all. You probably only want to ride the Ring of Gaia's coattails. Go back to the underground districts and wag your tails for Tayama like the dogs you are. I'm no one's dog. Oh yeah? Then take our entrance test. We'll see whether you've got the stones to back up those words. Hmm. There we go. I sent the electronic application to your terminal. Sign it, and bring it to me. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. I've registered this one as a challenge quest. Burrows. You don't need to say it. I can see it in your eyes. You didn't sign the application, did you? Sign it and bring it to me. Did you accept your challenge quest? Check your gauntlet.
You don't need to say it. I can tell you signed the application. So let me explain how the test goes. The idea is to reach the main temple before this candle burns out. The candle depletes as time passes during battle. Also, this ain't a group effort. You all gotta take it separately. I'd wager a man dreamed up this test. Walter will be pleased, I expect. I'll give it a go. I hope to see you again at the main temple. Alright, it's your turn. Head for the main temple. I've set it up so that you can see the status of your candle. It'll be visible when you open the menu and during battle. Show them what you've got, Master. Burrows. More to go.
Where are you going? You quitting the test? Then get back at it. Only one more to go. You have all you need now. Just go deliver it and you're done.
Burroughs.
Be careful. That's right.
Oh-ho! I see you've come this far with the flame intact. The main temple you're looking for is right in front of you. But if you want to pass, you must prove your strength to me. Are you ready? You must use all your might to defeat this demon. If your might is not enough, then there will be nothing left but bones. I shall gauge your true power that shines only on the verge of death. Well done. That makes four of you. Samurai from the firmament. It seems you are a force to be reckoned with. Now proceed. This tedious ordeal has safely come to its conclusion. Not that I thought it would turn out differently, given that you were involved. The test is at an end. You have all passed. You won't be needing those candles any longer. The skills you display today were a marvel to behold. Though, of course, we expect you to be that strong. Otherwise, 
You would not be allowed near Lady Yuriko. You were sent by Tayama, yes? What? I think I fractured my bottom. Uh, are the rest of you unhurt? Ouch. Yes, I'm still in one piece. Normally those who threaten the Ring of Gaia are put down by force. You have Lady Yuriko to thank for this mercy. Now, travel through the passage of ethics and meet Lady Yuriko. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. She knew our motives, yet she still invited us in. But will we be allowed to leave? Have faith, Isabeau. All shall be well. Answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. You are the ruler of a country. You have called upon your people to gather en masse for a game. Among those who attend, one is extraordinarily tall. What would you do? If you would exclude this person for the sake of fairness, go right. If you accept that one's height is merely a part of their individuality and include this person, go left. But that's dead simple. A man can't help being tall. Of course you'd have to accept it. I'm going left. Hmm, but then it would be unsporting to the others for the heights to be so grossly uneven. I would go right. It's not an easy decision. Which would you choose? Would you go left and accept the person for who they are? Or go right and disqualify them for the good of all? You would allow this person to participate, regardless of their individual height? You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. You are the chief of a village which has lived the same way for 1,000 years. One day, a man visits your village, carrying with him revolutionary technology. This technology would greatly ease your people's lives, but would also do away with their current lifestyle. What would you do? Go right, if you would expel the visitor in order to preserve the lifestyle you have always known. Go left, if you would welcome the visitor in order to adopt his technology for your village. Hmm, new technology is quite tempting. But I do not think it worth upending the stability of a culture and causing confusion amongst the people. I shall go right. Don't be so hasty, Jonathan. Give the matter more thought. Life for all the villagers would be improved. 
One must take risks in order for one to see progress. Were it up to me, I'd go left. Another difference of opinion. Is Yuriko attempting to drive a wedge between our band? I hesitate to be the one to decide this time either. Which would you choose? Right to protect the traditional way of life? Or left to welcome the new technology? You would welcome the visitor to usher in the new technology? You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. This is the final inquiry. Now for the question. The love of your life lies in front of you unconscious. There is no hope that they will ever wake again. You have already tried many things to no avail. What would you do? If you would care for this person for the rest of your life, go right. If you would stop all treatment and allow this person to perish naturally, go left. I think it would be best to let them die. But on the other hand, it's someone very dear to you, isn't it? <sighs> Damn! It's a choice I can't make! We are in agreement on that point, Walter. I can't decide either. These questions are all so unpleasant. Which would you choose? Left? Letting your beloved die? Or right? Committing to staying at their side for the rest of your life? You would let your dearest beloved die a natural death? Do you see more clearly what kind of human you are now? <laughs> I didn't think that I'd meet subjects of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado here. You're the Black Samurai! Why are you here? She truly still lives. <laughs> Enough with the formalities. We're all acquainted with each other, yes? So you can call me Yuriko. Yuriko? You're Yuriko? Wow, that's a shock. Hmm, that means... Kill the Black Samurai and kill Yuriko. They're the same quest. Tis an ill twist of fate, our task and Tayama's wishes dovetailing so. Are you going to kill me, the way Tayama and Gabby coerced you to? And if not, what will you do? I am Lilith. I have observed this world from before the birth of your species. The Black Samurai. She's a demon. And it was by a demon's hand that the foul books were carried into our kingdom. You are a monster who reduced our countrymen to base demons. And I shall have your head for it! Since you seem incapable of subtlety, let me explain something to you. It wasn't me who changed them into demons. It's the natural result of humans suppressing their desires. Do you mean to say that humans and demons are the same in essence? Exactly. It isn't demons you should hate. Pay no heed to this nonsense, Isabeau. 
Listen, children of man. You have witnessed it. You have seen yourself the emotions of the people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as they became demons. Those absurd rules created to bend the ignorant to their will. That is what you humans should reserve your hatred for. Absurd rules? I simply want to restore the human world to its natural order. A state unbound by the whims of rulers, where the strong can shape the world as they please. Tokyo. And of course, your eastern kingdom of Mikado as well. <sighs> I'll waste not one word rebutting this blasphemy. I shall smite you now! Hold, Jonathan. Yuriko, or rather, Lilith. This talk of a world which the strong can reshape as they see fit. In such a world, provided that he had the strength, could a casualty do as he pleased? Walter, I warned you against allowing her words purchase. We are here to strike her down. Demon, prepare yourself! Walter! I said to stay your hand, Jonathan. What? Lilith, this world, how would you bring it about? You have an important role, not as samurai, but as humans. We have a role? First, gain knowledge and wisdom. You know of the hills in Roppongi, yes? There is a facility below ground there, run by Tayama. Go and have a look for yourselves. You will see there what true evil is. But if that doesn't sway your opinion, then I'll be happy to stand as your adversary. My friends, I am sorry, but refrain from killing Yuriko until I return. Walter, what are you saying? I must know what this true evil is, and what true role we humans have to play. Those are lies from the honeyed lips of a demon. Humanity has no true role. In all my 18 years, there's one thing I've never once considered. Changing the world. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. swords with one of our fellows that Walter <laughs> 